Hi, I'm Dr. Wood. I'm a urologist. I'm going to talk to you now about cystoscopy. That's a procedure you're probably being prepared for. This video is aimed to give you information around the procedure, exactly what will happen to you, some of the risks that you need to know about, and some of the questions you might want to ask. It's very common for cystoscopy to be combined with other tests, sometimes CT, sometimes ultrasound, some other forms too. The team will explain to you what you need and how you go about scheduling that. Flexible cystoscopy is a procedure that allows us to look inside your bladder. We use a small camera that's passed through your urethra and into the bladder. As part of the procedure, we'll put some local anesthetic into your urethra to numb the area and make the whole procedure more comfortable for you. Once we've passed the camera into the bladder, we fill the bladder with water. That allows us to look carefully around all of the bladder and prevents it from collapsing so we don't miss important things that we should be seeing. Sometimes when we fill the bladder, you might leak water. That's okay, because that's our water, not your water. Cystoscopy is really well tolerated by patients. We're very careful to make sure that you're as comfortable as you possibly can be. We give you local anesthetic so that we numb the area. There will still be some areas of discomfort. We'll talk you through those. Those are transient, i.e. they pass quickly and then we'll make sure that we give you an opportunity after the procedure to tell us that you're okay, to empty your bladder, and to make sure before you leave us that everything is good. The whole procedure takes between five and 10 minutes, although you'll need to allow a little extra time for preparation and making sure that you're okay after the procedure. So we can use cystoscopy in a number of different ways. We can use cystoscopy to inspect the bladder and the urethra and help us with making a diagnosis for you if you've had particular symptoms. Sometimes we use cystoscopy post-procedure, such as when we need to remove a stent or a tube that drains the kidney. The other times we'll use it are to inject certain substances into the bladder, such as Botox. The reasons you might need a cystoscopy would include blood in the urine, or hematuria as we would call it, sometimes with difficult or complicated urinary tract infections, sometimes with pain in the bladder or difficulty emptying the bladder. It's important that you understand the risks or side effects of having a, any procedure. In the case of cystoscopy, what we're really talking about are relatively minor risks, but important that you know about them. Most people experience a little burning after the cystoscopy and occasionally see some blood in the urine. There is about a 1-2% to risk of infections, but we don't normally cover the procedure with antibiotics because using antibiotics actually produces more risk than it does benefit. Therefore, we rarely use antibiotics with cystoscopy apart from in certain groups. If you've recently had a joint replacement within the last two years, if you've had infection of a joint replacement in the past, or in some patients that have to take medication that reduces their immune system, we might use antibiotics. We advise you to drink plenty of water after the procedure. That reduces the burning, dramatically reduces your risk of infection, as long as you keep emptying your bladder regularly as well. It's a very rare complication after cystoscopy, but very, very occasionally, you'll get some scarring in the urethra where the scope has passed through. That's called a stricture. It narrows the urethra and makes it difficult to pee. When you arrive at the hospital to have your cystoscopy, you'll meet, first of all, our front desk team. They're excellent and they will help you with telling you what the next stages for you are. What we'll do is ask you to pass a sample of urine. At the same time, the team that meets you will ask you whether you've had any important symptoms, such as those of a urine infection. If either of those were positive, then we may not be able to perform the procedure that day. We'll help you with rescheduling it and understanding why that's important and what you need to do so that you can have it the next time around. You'll also meet your provider. They will talk to you about the details of the procedure, answer any questions that you've got, and then sign with you a consent form. When you come to have any procedure, including a cystoscopy, you'll be asked to sign a consent form that's going to look a little bit like this. There are some very specific risks that we have to list on there so that you're prepared. When you're being prepared for the procedure, it's really important to mention if you have any specific allergies, because the team will accommodate that in what they do for you, whether that's if you need antibiotics, if you need certain forms of analgesia or anesthetic. Once all of those things are done, you'll be taken round to our procedure area. You'll be asked to put a gown on and your whole genital area will be prepared, cleaned for the procedure. The provider will come in, they'll talk you through it, it's quick and then they'll explain to you what you need to do afterwards.
once you've had a flexible cystoscopy, because it's all under local anaesthetic, providing you feel okay. You can drive safely if you want to drive yourself home. You can undertake all of your normal activity uh, and there are no particular restrictions to that. After cystoscopy, you'll be given instructions about when to call us. Those are going to be situations such as symptoms of infection. So if you get burning that's getting worse rather than better, if you see a lot of blood and you're concerned about it, or if you have other symptoms such as feeling generally unwell in yourself or a temperature, then of course you should call the clinic and they will help you with managing that. I hope you found this video useful. We've tried to explain the procedure, what it's going to mean for you, and some of the side effects related to it. Remember that everybody in the hospital is there to look after you and make your journey as safe and as comfortable as possible. If you have questions, ask, and if you have worries, tell us.